Welcome everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a love reading. This love reading is going to be for those who um, are, are not in contact. So for whatever the reason, you know, there's no contact. Um, could relate to twin flames, soulmates, um, you know, just whatever the reason is. Someone could have ghosted you. You could have ghosted them. You know, it could go either way. Um, and one of the main reasons why I decided to do this reading is because I'm, I'm working with an, I know I just did a promotional video for actually these healing beads. Um, there's another company I'm working with also who sent me a few decks, uh, tarot decks. And before I actually do a review on them, I want to use them. So, um, we are going to use, let's see. Or the clarifiers, which are small, but you know what? That might fit, they, they may fit perfect for clarifiers. The uh, the name is Divine Celestial Tarot, and then the um, the Romance Oracles, which many of you know. I used to use these all the time, and then when I moved in with Sam. Um, I had to leave a lot of stuff behind and my daughter really wanted me to leave this deck behind. So I did. And, uh, so I, I definitely ordered it from this company. They're smaller, so they must've trimmed them. I don't know, but they are the same card. So they do come in a nice tin. I do like that. And then another deck that we're going to use in this reading is called Clarifying Love Situations. Again, I'm not really doing a review on the cards today. I just want to see how they are in a reading. Um, and then, then we'll review. Then I'll do like an actual formal review on them. Um, but today, no contact, love, what's going on. Uh, and I'm also going to use the Psychic Tarot. You know, I'm not even sure of what format I wanted to use. I just thought, let's just bring them out. So let's set these over to the side. And I think what I want to start with is um, the Romance Angels. So even though they're tiny, it's it's like they chopped them up a little bit. Um, and I have been shuffling them and I saged them. I welcomed, welcomed them all to the family. But let's go ahead and start with the Romance Angels. Let's give them a cut. And maybe we'll use these as like bullet points. And then we'll use the Psychic Tarot and then the Clarifying Love um, situations. So we'll see. Let's just play by ear, which is usually how I do most of my readings anyway. All right, no contact. What's going on? All right. It is, wait, I got another card under that. Keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. Interesting. You know, the first thing it's making me feel like is, yes, maybe someone um, is not in contact with me, but could it be because there is someone else on the horizon? I'm kind of feeling that, um, but we'll see. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Let me actually bring this lid down. And now we have, it is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Interesting. Sitting right next to what might be a potential soulmate. We have, let your friends help you. Who knows better than your friends? Ask for and accept support from others. Let your friends help you. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun 
to shine. And then pay attention to the red flags. Well, you know, sometimes I feel like the no contact is a red flag. Um, sometimes I feel like, you know, if there is no contact, you know, if I've been ghosted, that could be a red flag. Uh, am I paying attention to it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? What I feel like doing is I feel like actually taking the psychic tarot out of this reading. And I want to take a couple more. We have wedding. Interesting wedding. This situation involves marriage. This situation involves marriage. Let your friends help you. Keep an open mind about the way your soulmate may be. Be different from your usual type, your expectations, playfulness, keeping that part of yourself alive. I feel like that's really important. Um, saying that it's safe for you to love. So keep your heart open. You know, I feel like there just may be some surprises. Pay attention to the red flags. Sometimes if someone is in and out of our life, in and out of our life, that may be a red flag. Um, it's interesting because I feel like this reading is going different than I expected. But at the same time, I really don't put a lot of expectations in the reading. I just let them be whatever they want to be. And then let your friends help you. Wedding. This situation involves a wedding. You know, it's interesting. I feel like there may be some of you who are going to a wedding. Someone else's wedding. And um, you may meet someone. Hmm. You may meet someone who just may be completely different than the person who that you have no contact from. Okay, let's take three more. Deception. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Well, that would definitely tie back to the red flags. You know, sometimes the hardest thing to do is be honest with ourselves. I just have a feeling that not for everyone, but for some of you. Um, and, you know, I'm not feeling like someone's out there cheating and that. I mean, they could be. Um, but what I'm feeling is, again, that false mask, you know, like maybe not being honest with you, truthful. Who knows? They may be connected to someone else. And uh, it hurts my heart to say that. But I feel like at the same time, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ than what you expect. I feel like that is a sign. And then pay attention to the red flags. I feel like this is a red flag. You know, but it's also saying that it's safe for you to love, you know, and also I just have a feeling that for some of you, because you may have been like waiting for someone, you know, like waiting for someone to contact you. And again, they could have been in and out of their life or in and out of your life. Um, and I know that energy doesn't feel good. And um, I don't know, I just feel like you don't deserve that. So, you know, can I keep my heart open even though? And, you know, I'm looking at wedding and I'm thinking, well, it doesn't have to mean that I'm going to an actual wedding. It could just mean I'm going to a party. I'm going, you know, to some type of organized structure. And lo and behold, I may meet someone. You know, some of you, your friends have someone in mind. They may ask you to go on a blind date. That's scary. But yet, I would still do it. You know, it doesn't mean that you, like, let's say, in your heart of hearts, like, you really had hoped that a certain person was your one. It doesn't necessarily mean that you don't reconnect. But I feel like if someone is not contacting me, then I have every right to date 
I have every right to be social. And, you know, maybe I don't want to date. Well, then be social. You know what I mean? Like, don't, don't keep yourself, you know, in the prison of your home. Um, even if it's like on social media, you know, you may have someone who's reaching out that it's like, well, I can't really, I just get this feeling like I really can't strike up a conversation because again, I feel like my heart belongs to another. And it's interesting. I'm pointing right to deception. Um, hmm. all right, well, let's keep going. I have to say, I really miss this deck. This was one of my favorite decks as related to love. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So, it's coming under the line. It's safe for you to love. Under pay attention to the red flags. Sitting next to deception. But here it's saying, stay optimistic. Why? You know, first of all, I feel like you can't plan love. You never know who you're going to meet and when you're going to meet them. Even if my heart feels like it belongs to another. I feel like the right person, especially a soulmate, um, they'll be able to get through. They'll get through. All right. Let's try to do one more to fill out this block. Look at that. Engagement under wedding. Wow. Engagement under wedding. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then you have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Listen, I just have a feeling that there is someone who was you know, unwilling or unable to make a commitment. You know, sometimes people just don't know how to love. And they kind of keep people hung, like, like on this hook. Why? Well, because they themselves haven't matured enough to, um, you know, really recognize that special person that special partner and really how good that can feel and then we have retreat some of you are going somewhere i'm telling you some of you are going somewhere and you're going to meet someone and it feels like a friend is asking you to go an acquaintance and i feel like that's all i got to do i just got to get in the car i just got to go and then I feel like someone, you're going to meet someone. Now, will it be like instant attraction? I kind of feel like it will be. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Interesting how I said don't stay in the prison of your home. But it is mirroring deception. All right, um, so, whoa, these cards are interesting. Um, by the way, they're called, I don't know if I said that, the clarifying love situation. And they have two messages on them. So what I did is I just kind of mixed them up. But what I'm going to do is give them a couple shuffles. And again, I've, I've spent at least 15 minutes on each one of these decks just shuffling them. So I think what I'm going to do is just go right over top. Interesting. They have messages. Well, they're very slippery. <laughs> All right. So let's put them this way. Let's give them a cut.
very slippery. And let's just go over this. And then I may bring in this deck also. Why not? All right, so see, so as you can see, there's two different messages, and it really depends which way they come out. So this one came out between the lines. Uncover the truth carefully and write your own ending. And it's coming over, keep an, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Uncover the truth carefully and write your own ending. Someone else may be writing your book. And it's time to take back your control. That's what it feels like to me. It's interesting also that she is journaling. Like she is literally writing. Maybe she's writing her story. And that can be healing. Read between the lines. Awakening joy, jolt, awakening jolt from shock to epiphany. Embrace the upheaval as a cat, um, catalyst for renewal. And it's coming over. It's safe for you to keep your, it's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest form of love. Awakening jolt. Wow. That may be that instant connection I feel like some of you are going to have. From shock to epiphany. Embrace the upheaval as a catalyst for renewal. We have Envy's Turmoil, obsessed, obsessed hearts and jealous minds brew a storm of un, unyielding chaos. Hmm. Envy's Turmoil, obsessed hearts and jealous minds brew a storm of unyielding chaos. It's coming over, let your friends help you. It's, mir it's mirrored by reading between the lines. In the middle of it is an awakening jolt. To me, it reminds me of like the hangman in the awakened state. And I do kind of feel like it's talking about, uh, because we're really talking about, you know, no contact. I have a feeling what it's saying is um, it's that realization Again, I'm not doing this reading to try to talk you out of anything. Um, you know, it's got to come from yourself. But I am doing this reading to really get a better picture of, let's just say, you know, is someone worth the wait? Is someone worth the wait? Does the universe have someone else in store for me? Is there already something predestined? But I have to make that move, right? I got to jump in that car. I got to go to that event. Maybe it's a retreat. Maybe some of you are going on a retreat and lo and behold, you meet someone. I feel like envy's um, turmoil can certainly speak about, you know, not allowing myself. I have a feeling someone has really played some mind games on you and I, and I do feel like you've given someone a lot of time and maybe multiple chances but to be honest I feel like they just keep disappointing you yet I'm really feeling that there is someone else that they're you know and I do feel it's a soulmate and this person could have been like a karmic, and I'm pointing down to deception and the red flags, right? So it's like, you know, 
our spirit guides are always sending us signs and sometimes they are red flags and sometimes we just don't want to listen to them. The signs are cautioning you. All right, we have turbulence. Again, this is the first time I'm reading them. Heal unresolved conflicts with kindness, not anger. It's coming over playfulness. That makes sense. Heal unresolved conflicts with kindness, not anger. You know, it's interesting that it's following Envy's Turmoil, where it does talk about obsessed hearts, you know, and jealousy, you know, our jealous minds. Um, but yet, at the same time, I feel like I feel like you have every reason to feel that way. And I feel like you need to think about that, though, at the same time. You know, if someone is constantly, you know, reminds me of like my, I'm going to say my first husband, but I was only married once, um, where, you know, like he would just disappear. And we were married and he would just disappear for like days. Uh, no phone calls, no nothing. And was and he was definitely giving his love to others. You know, and um, I did have to have this awakening jolt to really understand. And, you know, I understand where it's hard to say, I'm going to stop waiting for someone. I understand that. But at the same time, I could, I'm on the other side now. And I can tell you that I thank God that I put an end to it. All right. Moonlight unity. Use understanding to have greater emotional balance. This is play, pay attention to the red flags. Use understanding to have greater emotional balance. That feels like it's coming from your guides. Moonlight unity. Look at that. I feel like this is you meeting someone new. And I do feel like the chemistry is going to be like the giveaway. We have legacies, rebirth, honor histories, remains to restore and breathe life into forgotten tales. Coming over wedding. You know, I feel like what this is saying is allow yourself to have this romance. And some of you may already know who this person is. It may be someone who has already reached out. But like, you know, my heart is set on this person. But yet this person feels like, well, again, they may look different, be different than your usual type. But that may be a good thing. You know, it reminds me of my daughter who... um and this is not to put down Aquarius, but for some reason she kept being attracted to Aquariuses. And each and every one of them had let her down. Um, and I said, well, maybe you need to start looking at the opposite. You know, like, don't look at Aquarius anymore. And again, I'm not putting Aquarius down. I'm just using that as an example. Delicate balance. Strike a balance between freedom and commitment. Coming over deception. Strike a balance between freedom and commitment. I feel like this is you needing just to be honest with yourself. Read between the lines. Strike that balance. I feel like, again, awakening jolt is just, you're going to meet someone. And I feel like it's when you're out and about. Of course, it could also be on social media because I do feel like for some, there may have been someone who's been like reaching out to you or is about to reach out to you. And you may be like, wait a minute, you know, you know, and I'm sorry to talk about myself and my daughter again. But another thing I told her, too, is, you know, try to look beyond the looks because. You know, someone may not, you may not be initially attracted to someone, 
but their heart will make you fall in love with them. Hmm. All right. Shining sign. Trust the universe. Trust trust the universe's plan and follow your heart. Now this is coming over. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith bring you romance. Bring you romance. And then right next to it is engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Well, let's just take one more. Prickly defenses. Barriers caused by past hurts block you. Be patient. And it's coming over engagement, but also retreat. So it's saying to disconnect from the world, but maybe it's just disconnect from this person. Disconnect from the expectations that you had. Allow yourself to dream again. You know, allow yourself to write a different ending to your book than what you thought it was going to be. Allow romance to find you again. If one person can't give you what it is you deserve, that doesn't mean that that's it. That's it. That's the end of love for me. And I know some will say, well, it is, but I still feel like love will find you. And then you may rethink that. So, interesting. Interesting, right in the middle is Moonlight Unity. And it does feel like, I feel like it's two people, just this recognition of each other. You know, when I do these kind of readings, do I hope that this person that you have your heart set on will reach out, will evolve. I do. But at the same time, I feel like, you know, red flags were sent. And us as humans, because remember, we're spiritual beings having human experiences. The human part of us tends to want to hang on, hang on. Well, you got to figure out how long do you want to hang on? And I feel like it's the same. Just, just be really honest with yourself. All right. Well, let's go ahead. And again, this is this reading was like, you know, I have I had no expectations. Whatever it wanted to be, I'm just allowing it to be. Um, it feels very clear to me. I'm always very open to my guides. And their guidance, uh, especially as it relates to you and your readings, you know, because these are your readings. Um, and what is the name of this deck? Divine Celestial Tarot. So let's give them a shuffle. And let's just go over this. So the moral of this story feels like some of you, it's like, you know, maybe it's saying, think of your love, like your love life, like a movie or a book, you know, and in a book or a movie, there's all kinds of twists and turns, right? Hills and valleys. And, you know, like if you're watching a movie, there could be someone who is waiting for someone, but we're pulling for this person to think outside the box, you know, because then somebody else comes into their life. And, you know, as the, as the one who's watching the movie, we're like, go with that person, go with that person. So I kind of feel like this is your movie. All right, let's give these a cut. But, it's also, it's, you know, to me, that's a recognition of your power, right? You get to write your book. You get to direct your movie. And, you know, sometimes certain chapters, we have to close them. Because who's going to continue to read that book if I have to keep reading the same chapter 
over and over again. I feel like who's ever in this deception energy and who's ever, um, you know, guides are sending them red flags, they're the ones who are not turning the page. You know, they're not writing the next chapter. And I feel like even if even if my mind is still like fixated on this person, I still feel like there's someone new that's going to come in and I feel it's going to be unexpected. And again, just like the card says, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. But yeah, look what's right here. This beautiful unity. And then we do have engagement, right? And marriage. Okay. Let's just go right over top. We have the Page of Swords. Hmm. Wow. Some of you may literally be writing a book. Uh, Page of Swords can talk about communication. Or the lack of. can talk about truth or untruths. Just looking at the image. Coming over, read between the lines and keep an open mind. This could certainly be someone who's going to reach out and communicate with you. Do I feel like it's this person? I don't. I feel like this reading is really to get you ready for something that's new. It's interesting, I'm saying something that's new, but it could even be something that's old again. But I mean that as in, um, you know, like I just did a past life reading and I just fell in love with it. I just have to say, I fell in love with it. And I did the past life reading because I did a twin flame reading and that ignited my intuition to do the past life reading. So when I say, you know, because soulmates, you know, you already know each other, right? Whether you've come together in this lifetime or not. This could also be someone of a younger, you know, younger time, an earlier time that reaches out. Because I did feel that someone's going to reach out. Someone different than what you expect. We have the moon, moonlight, moonlight unity right below it, the moon, an awakening jolt from shock to epiphany, embrace the upheaval as a catalyst for renewal. And it's coming over, it's safe for you to love. So the moon. Um, Carter Pisces, ruler of cancer. But beyond that, it can certainly talk about uncertainties. But listen, maybe, you know, I feel like something's going to happen in the moonlight. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like the moonlight has something to do with this reading. Um, but the moon can certainly talk about uncertainties, right? I can only see as far as the moonlight allows me to see. Well, if it's a full moon, you can see pretty far. But it's also very dreamy type energy. Some of you are on your way to have like this romantic night. And again, I feel like it's unexpected. I feel like the question is, will you allow yourself? Will you allow yourself? And let's let's put it this way. Let's say that this is going to happen the way that I feel it's going to happen. You know, um, someone unexpected reaches out or you meet someone, you know, whether you're in an event again or whether you're on social media. Um, I feel like someone is going to reach out. Let's say you're at an event. I feel like they're going to come over to you. They're going to talk to you. And... I feel like it doesn't matter what, you know, like, I feel like if I'm that person who's reaching out to you, not, of course, I'm hoping that 
you will respond. But I'm not going to let that stop me from coming over to you. It's almost like this person feels drawn to you. And again, they may be different than, you know, your normal type, but that may be a good thing. That may be a good thing. So I feel like the moon is saying, like, I can either be afraid because, you know, maybe like very quickly, I'm wondering, well, you know, is this just going to be more of the same? Or am I just going to allow myself to enjoy that moment? Because I feel like very quickly it's going to turn right. Whoa. My lights just went off. Went off and back on again. Interesting. Happens a lot. Um, and I always feel like it's my guides. Just like a little nod. Like you're on the right page, Sandy. All right. Let's keep going. You know, there's something... Something that the moon is, um, again, whether this is happening like that night and you notice the moon or it's happening under a moon, um, you know, I just, I also just did Virgo, the new moon in Virgo. Um, so that may apply also. And I'm not trying to push my readings. It's just, they're all coming to mind, especially the moon. All right, what do we have? Judgment. Judgment. This is your spiritual team. You know, when judgment shows up in a reading, it's calling you to the present moment. Why? Because this is where we send your signs. About what? Probably this person. Probably this person that I totally did not expect. And... Listen, I feel like I can't think of one love relationship that I've been in that I planned it. It just happened, right? I just so happened to meet them. And it just so happened to be, you know, and I have to say, um, the people that I was natu like naturally attracted to, and then later in my life, the people that I was with were completely different. So, anyways, judgment's calling you to the present moment. It's like, get your head out of the past. It's coming over envy's tor turmoil. This is about a rebirth. And again, your spiritual team is always sending you signs. One was a red flag. And I feel like it's relating back to someone who maybe didn't have contact. And again, I kind of feel bad that the way this reading is turning out, because I feel like some of you are, you know, really want this person to contact you. So that makes me, I don't know, bad is the word. Like it makes me like, it gives me a little sorrow, but on the flip side of that, like, I feel if you could just move into this, expect the unexpected then I feel happy I feel excited for you and so is your spiritual team by the way we have the two of wands two of wands coming over playfulness and also turbulence heal let's read that again heal unresolved conflicts with with kindness, not anger. Two of Wands is about just taking a step in, taking a step forward. You know, and I have a feeling also that, you know, how do I say this? Because I feel like when this person shows, however they show, I do feel like they're going to be different than your normal person, than your normal person you've been attracted to. Um, but I also feel that there's a lot of romance in them, even if you yourself have shut that part of yourself down. I still feel like they'll get through. 
especially because judgment is here also. And just like I felt in the very beginning of the reading where sometimes we don't realize that there is someone else or someone else, you know, maybe predestined. And this just may be the time. Judgment speaks about the present moment. Two wands, the willingness to take a step in. Playfulness. Hey, listen, if nothing else, just enjoy the night or the day, however it happens. You know, even if it's just like connecting on social media and just the the back and forth and then it, and then it turns a little romantic, like allow yourself to be playful. Just take a step forward, you know, and it doesn't mean like make a commitment. Just take a step forward, though we do have a lot of commitment down here. You know, someone is bold enough not to contact you. Someone is bold enough to know that they're hurting you. And they do know that. And no matter what their excuses, right? And listen, you know, sometimes people just don't know how to love. There's different levels to love. I say that all the time. And I believe that, you know, and that's something my spirit guides have taught me. Like there are different levels to love and I have loved at the low level and now I'm loving at the high level and there's a big difference. All right. You know, I feel like the moon is saying, I can either look at this situation and be like, well, I don't know, because who knows where it's going to go. And I'm not interested in just like, you know, I want to say one night stand, but I don't really feel that. Um, but like, I'm not interested in just playing any games, but I don't feel like the person approaching you has any interest in playing games either. Matter of fact, they've probably been through the same type of situations you've been through differently, but still the same. Like, I feel like they, all, they would have a great understanding. And maybe there will be a discussion, um, a conversation about, you know, this person down here and how they ghosted you. And um, I just get the feeling that this person would say, well, how stupid were they? How stupid were they? We have the two swords. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Two swords, you know, this is coming over red flags. And the two swords is us wearing a blindfold. And that blindfold is just because we don't want to face something. There's something we just don't want to be honest with ourselves about. Now, I feel like we all know what that is. Um, and it can mean like blocking an opportunity. So... You know, here comes this, what feels like, well, I keep saying feels like, but it is a soulmate. I just know that. Um, and it is going to be up to me whether I say yay or nay, you know, or even if I just allow to myself to enjoy that moment. And I feel like the rest will take care of itself. But there's going to be some that may just be like, no. Right, because where is my, my heart is set on this person, this person, but yet at the same time, I want to say, like, I feel like your spirit guides would say, you deserve better. This is, this is your human mind. This is not your spiritual being. Your spiritual being would tell you, shut that door. Your human mind doesn't want to be honest with itself, doesn't want to face the truth. Why? Because it's hurtful. Well, because we take it personally. But yet, in the same breath, I feel like this person down here, I feel like it's their habit. It's something that they do. Like, And I feel like you probably weren't the only one and you probably won't be the last one. Like, they themselves need to evolve, but it's not us. 
I feel like your guide just saying it's it's not your lesson to teach them. So this could definitely be blocking what feels like wants to come in. We have the magician. So let's say I can't even read it. It's so small. Magician. Coming under judgment. And it is mirroring the two of wands. Some of you may have subconsciously been manifesting this soulmate. You know, do I feel like the universe gets involved in our lives? I do. But we have free will at the same time. And that's really what the two of swords is. That's free will. Two of wands, free will. I can say yes. I can just enjoy the moment. Two of swords, I can block it. I can be unwilling to see those red flags. Deny them. That's up to me. But yet judgment saying, but we need you in the present moment. There's something about to happen. And the magician, I feel like, is many of you, like subconsciously. It's like you know how you want love to look in your life. So subconsciously, I feel like you are manifesting. Ah, three of swords. I feel like it just can't be any clearer. And again, I know for some of you, this is not what you want to hear. And, you know, maybe it's not your reading. Though, I would say, if you do have a blindfold on, take it off. Just be honest with yourself. Were there red flags? That's it. Just be honest with yourself. But the Three of Swords. We have, well, hello, death card. That is the closing of the door. You know, this is you listening to your spiritual team. And some of you may be like, well, how do I know that my spiritual team is guiding me? Well, because they're sending you flags. They're sending you this person. Even, even the movement before you even get to this event or until you connect on social media, I feel like even that, you know, do I believe that our spirit guides can help change our lives? Or do I believe our spirit guides can really show us that they're involved in our lives? Well, if you look at that guitar I have over in the corner, and, you know, I won't go into the whole story, because I know many of you know that, how this guitar made its way to me. And it was like my spirit guides have, have, they moved mountains to get that guitar to me. And that guitar, even though I don't know who it belonged to, I don't know how it ended up, where it ended up. All I know is one day Sam came in the office while I was doing a reading and he had this guitar in his hand. And I had gotten a very special message that day um, from my son who has crossed over. And that guitar looks exactly like his guitar. So do I feel like our spiritual team will help us? That Will they move mountains to help us? I do. But they can't interfere in our free will. And that's what that blindfold is. The red flags being sent. Just like this person, I feel like being introduced into your life, I feel like that is also your spiritual team. So the death card, card of Scorpio, but it is closing of a door and it is so a new door can open. And I promise you, when you do close a door, a new door always opens, especially when you yourself have really examined you know, your situation. And again, some of you like journaling, writing about it, talking about it. 
It helps give you even more clarity. It helps you to heal the situation. And then it allows this rebirth to take place. Shining sign. Trust in the universe's plan and follow your heart. I just realized that. Wow. And underneath that is stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. One door's got to close up. And I get the feeling also like this may come like I like maybe I just allow this romantic night to happen. It doesn't mean I have to close that door right there, right then. But I feel like it's time and I don't feel like a lot of time. But I feel like as I start to move forward, because again, I feel like this person's going to understand you, like really understand you. You know, they're even going to understand your your apprehension, your um, your fear. Why? Because I feel like they've been there. You know, soulmates are really mirroring each other. They're the mirrors of each other. So you will find that you've had very similar experiences. Rebirth. Eight of Wands. Well, what I think about, I bring about. How interesting, because that's exactly what I was feeling. Some of you subconsciously. And it's like your spirit guides is like, that's the only, I just needed that tiny little seed to help bring this about. You know, your angels, they need your permission to um, help guide you. You know, they're protecting you, but they need your permission to like really come in and help you. When I think about it, I bring about, this is also fast moving energy. And it's interesting because it's coming over an engagement. You know, it's like I go to someone else's wedding. I meet someone, um, you know, I'm, I'm a little nervous about it. They're not my usual type, but yet they feel and they just, you know, it's like a long romantic type conversation um and, and listen maybe we go our separate ways that night but then maybe we exchange numbers maybe we don't even exchange numbers but they still find me and they reach out to me you know i feel like there's a lot of different ways this may take place but the one thing i can say is i feel like you can trust in your spiritual team all you need to do is be open be open to the potential. And I feel like the rest will take care of itself. So when I say fast moving energy, you know, maybe this is someone that you will end up becoming engaged to and end up marrying. Maybe this is your true love. And then look at this, the emperor. Wow. First of all, this is a card of Aries. However, this is someone I can look up to. This is someone I don't feel like would ghost someone. Because this is someone who cares for their fellow man, their fellow woman, their brother or their sister. They care. This is someone who has been through it, but has risen above, risen above. To me, the emperor literally means someone that I can look up to. Some of you, this person might remind you of your father. But that would be a good thing. You know, if your father was not like some, you know, this would be someone who'd be like, yes, that's what I like. This is someone I definitely feel like has their shit together. But it's taken these experiences they themselves have had to reach this status. Someone you can look up to versus someone who is breaking your heart versus someone where your spiritual team has been sending you red flags versus this feeling of jealousy because you don't know what's going on. And they're leaving you on the hook. 
What a difference. What a difference. Will you or won't you? Will you or won't you? You know, I'm not going to put like one scenario here because I feel like it could be different scenarios. But I do want to say for some of you, you know, it's like you just find yourself somewhere and then lo and behold, you meet this person. Some of you, you may be going to an event with your friends and then lo and behold. And I feel like it's not even you making the initial contact. It's them. It's them coming up to you. And you may even have this look on your face of, I'm not interested. But I don't feel that that's going to hinder their approach. There could be a few of you where your friends, you know, I feel like are setting you up. But it's because they love you. I feel like judgment is perfect. Because it's calling you to the present moment. Two of swords, I'm not living in the present moment. I don't want to face the fact that someone, you know, I don't like the energy that this person's putting you in. You know, they're making you feel jealous. They're breaking your heart. You are writing your own story. Is it not time to turn the page? Write the next chapter. This has been a hard chapter. But the next chapter feels like, you know, if I was reading your book, it's like, oh, this is the chapter I've been waiting for. This is someone who can love you fully. There's not all these little problems in between. Just you and them. And what will be. You know, I feel down the road, it's you who's going to be engaged. It's you who's going to get married. And I say married, I just mean a commitment because, you know, not all of us need marriage in our life, but a true commitment, yes. It's you and them. The death card literally following the three of swords and deception. Delicate balance, strike a balance between freedom and commitment. This is not commitment. It's not even allowing you to feel free. But you really have the power over that. And I do feel like, I just want to say, I feel like this is predestined. Doesn't guarantee us that it will be that two of swords that is our free will. What will we do? What will we do? And again, I'm not saying jump into a relationship. I'm saying just allow yourself to have that romantic conversation and see where it goes from there. I have a feeling this energy will fade away. It'll just fade away. And you'll see the difference. That's the big thing, is you will notice the difference within personality, within morals, within someone's belief system, and they're going to match yours much more. And I feel like they're going to be very understanding of the situation you're in. But I feel like under their breath, They'd be saying, well, what a fool that person was. Not you. This person. What a fool. 
this is my chance now. And I don't feel like they're going to blow that chance. Even if you say no, this is the type of person I feel that would still pursue. Not, not like, you know, like if you said absolutely not, then maybe not. Maybe they will kind of fade away also. But I feel like your spiritual team is so strong in this reading that, you know, just like red flags are sent, so are white flags. You know, so is that feeling of, oh, well, I don't know. However, maybe I'll just step into it. Maybe I'll have this, you know, and I feel, and I do feel this energy of like, of long conversations and you are talking about like your life and you are talking about the hurt and the pain that you've been through. And I feel like this is the perfect person to receive that. I feel like they will listen, not talk over you. They will listen, actively listen, like with the spiritual lens, you know, they're mirroring your spiritual team with a magician right in between. All right, guys. Well, this went a little different than I expected, but again, you know, like I know for some that blindfold, it's going to be hard to take off, but in the same breath, like I feel very, I feel very happy. I feel like, because I love you guys so much, I feel like, like freedom. And freedom to truly love and be loved. That's the real thing. All right, guys. Um, so anyways, we introduced three new decks today. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I'm glad to have the Romance Angels back. I really miss them. And that's why I just, I was going to use the Psychic Tarot, but then I felt like, no, I want to just do a reading with them. Um, so yeah, so far so good. But then I'll, I will do a formal review. But this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to use them in a reading to see how they felt. And I have to say, I feel like they gave very clear message and that's what i'm looking for within um all my decks if i don't feel that in a deck i don't use them um so anyways i thank you i love you i hope that you see this for what it is and you take off that blindfold listen no matter what you decide still take off that blindfold And let your spiritual team, let them in. Let them in. I love you guys. I thank you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.